Hello, I'm Mike Fitzgerald with Bobcat Company. Today we're going to look at some exclusive features of Bobcat's selectable joystick controls that help your machine adapt to specific job requirements. Those features are drive response mode, speed management, horsepower management, and steering drift compensation. I'll give a quick look at each one of these features. Drive response mode allows you to choose how the drive responds to joystick movement. You can set a more gradual response, get quick, instant feedback from your input, or strike a good balance between both. To change your drive response setting, go to your machine setting screen on your in-cab display. Select the drive response setting. There are three drive response settings you can choose. Drive response one provides a smooth, responsive drive reaction to input. Drive response two is the default setting on your loader. It provides a normal responsive drive reaction to joystick movement. Drive response three gives you a good, quick drive response to joystick movement. Your chosen setting will be saved automatically. Each operator can choose their own drive response preference. Speed management allows you to dial in your required travel speed in small increments to match speed to your operation requirements and maximize attachment performance. Speed management gives you a full range of joystick motion at a slower speed, giving you precise control of machine movements while maintaining maximum driveline torque and full hydraulic power. It can be useful for tasks such as planing asphalt, soil conditioning, blowing snow, and more. To engage speed management, press the speed management button or snail icon on the left joystick once. When speed management is engaged, your machine's top speed is set to a percentage of your standard travel speed. This percentage is shown briefly in your display. To adjust the percentage, press the top speed control switch or rabbit icon. The percentage shown in your display will increase. You can set the maximum speed to as high as 99% of your standard travel speed. To reduce the percentage, Press the bottom of your speed control switch, or the turtle icon. You can set your maximum speed as low as 1% of your standard control speed. Refer to the display to track your current setting. To disengage speed management, press the snail icon again. The speed management icon will turn off. If your machine is equipped with optional two-speed travel, you must disengage speed management before using two speed. When you use speed management again, the system will return to your previously set speed percentage as long as the machine remains on. You can change your default speed setting and save adjustment time by selecting machine settings in your display. Select speed management, scroll down to the default speed management setting. Use the slider bar to adjust your default speed management setting. Press and hold the speed management button with the snail icon. This will save your default speed setting. Next time you start the machine and activate speed management, this will be your new starting point for adjustment. Horsepower management automatically adjusts the loader drive system to maximize pushing and digging power while minimizing your chance of stalling. Unlike other anti-stall systems, Bobcat's horsepower management lets the operator obtain maximum engine and drive torque to keep your productivity high. If you prefer to work without it, operate your machine in speed management. Horsepower management is turned off while in the speed management mode. Steering drift compensation keeps you on a straight path by helping you make minor adjustments to the steering. It's beneficial when you side shift certain attachments such as planers or trenchers, as this will tend to pull the machine to one side. You can also use it while driving on surfaces that cause the loader to gradually drift left or right, such as crowned roads. To adjust steering drift compensation, enter the machine settings screen during machine operation. Select steering drift from the settings menu. Press the left or right buttons at the top of your left joystick to adjust the steering drift setting. A bar graph on the display shows the current settings for forward and reverse. 
Forward drift settings can be adjusted in neutral or while traveling forward. Reverse steering drift settings can be adjusted during reverse travel. The adjustments to your steering drift compensation are effective immediately. That's just a quick run through of some great features you'll have in your selectable joystick controls equipped Bobcat loader. For more information, see your operation and maintenance manual, talk to your local Bobcat dealer, or visit bobcat.com.